welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers as well. I'm sorry it's took me so long to get one out to you. I have been completely inundated, dead busy, um, private readings, etc, etc. So I do apologise that I've been a bit slow. So thank you all for being dead patient with me. I wish I could split myself into multiple people. It would help me loads, but unfortunately there is only one Ali. Okay, so what we're going to do is, are they still interested in me and is there, or is there someone else? Again, this is one that's been requested off Instagram because we've got a big load that we're working through. So deck number one, deck number two, pick a deck. Um, think about you, think about your person. My guide is saying to go over your heart centre pull this time, so where your heart chakra is kind of pulling you, which deck you want. This is number one and this is number two, pick a deck. And get your energies. Can you tell me please, those that pick the collective deck number one, so as always it's going to work on the strongest feature or energy between you all, which you know. Um, deck number one, are they still interested of their people? Let me get me a word off. Okay, can you think about your person, can I get into the collective's people's thoughts, feelings, energies, emotions and thought processes, choices, chances and changes? Like, we can pull out the strongest mutual energy. So my guide is saying that um, some of your people will be dating other people. Um, so you do need to kind of be aware of that because while some of you are also dating other people, so you're kind of echoing on that energy, but it doesn't mean that they are happy in that situation. They're feeling quite alone. Are they still interested? Um, and they want to be making... I've already started reading. I haven't even pulled your yet. They, they want to be making... That was mumbled. I always mumble. I'm a proper mumbler. That was... Um, they're feeling alone. They want to be making moves to you, but they're just not quite sure how to do it. Okay, can I have some more? Are they still interested or is there someone else? Are they with someone else? So like you, that you're going to be echoing that kind of energy onto one another. So you're fed up, they're fed up, you're feeling like you're standstilling, they're standstilling. Um, once, another one at the top. Can I find one? This deck is a nightmare for not jumping, I have to watch them really carefully. One. Let's get four for the bottom. So three more. Let's have three more cards, please. Are they still interested? So if they even if they are dating other people, it's kind of irrelevant to the outcome of you and them. Um, with it being a divine relationship and being more spiritual relationship, it's it's like when you get fed up. We all get fed up, don't we? You know, um, so because you're feeling fed up and that they are also feeling fed up, some of them will be dating just to kind of see what else is kind of going on. That doesn't mean that they're not interested in you, though. Um, the reason why that is happening is because they're feeling isolated and they're feeling alone and they want to be making moves towards you with the hands open, but they feel like the door is currently shut between the two of you. Now, some of them have shut that themselves. Some of you have shut the door, depending on your various variants situations but it's not that you're out of their thoughts you are still in their head they are still thinking about you but for the time being they're just feeling as if this door is shut now the key is still in the door they know that they can unlock the door but they're just a little and you can unlock it too but they're just a little bit wary on how to do it um and so whilst this is kind of going on they're seeing they're just keeping their options open it doesn't mean that they're out dating hundreds of people it's just that they're you are still in their thoughts, but they're just kind of make, trying to make the most of a bad situation like all of you are. You know, you're all exactly the same. Um, so that isn't everyone in this group that the person is dating other people, but you do need to be aware that it's a possibility that that could be happening with quite a few of you in this in this deck. Okay, um, but don't panic. It's not a case of panicking. What's happening whilst they're trying to work out this door is they've got the seven of pentacles. So they're just trying to work through everything. They're trying to get themselves to feel more stable. They are seeing two sides to the story. Um, you are both very much in synchronicity. You can see how the patterns of each of these are split. Perfect symmetry, really, minus the key in this door um, because they or you hold the key specifically. But they're trying to work it all through and you're trying to work it through as well. And the growth is happening behind the scenes. Um, I've just seen that an owl. Can you see that? It's like an owl for wiseness. That might just be my clairvoyance. Um, 
they are trying to gain wisdom over the situation and they are just trying to focus on themselves and focus on what is right for them but again you're mirroring the synchronicities going up you've got the feminine energies in the circles you've got the masculine energies in the lines and um, you've got infinity symbols you've got all sorts of uh, symbolic sacred geometry within this card so it's some divine relationship it's shifting you've got the page of wands and the queen of wands so like i said some of them will be checking out whatever what else is available but it doesn't mean they're glowing in different relationships some of you are third party um and your person is already gone to someone else but again if that is what's happened it doesn't necessarily matter because your energies are still within these cards saying that there is going to be that chance for them to open up once they've uh, unlocked the door and um, queen of wands the passionate energy page of wands they're not they're standing on this kind of cusp of making new moves towards you but they're not quite ready to do it yet um again they don't realize that they are completely holding the key to this relationship moving forward you are echoing your synchronicities um they're feeling a bit like they could get blown over by a gust of wind at any second a little bit light a little bit whoa what am i doing with my life a little bit confused but they're trying to stand their ground um so it's not it's it's not all hope is lost you've got the lovers as well i love that lovers card it's gorgeous isn't it you've got the lovers again mirroring energies you've got the two doves but you've got this serpent that's coming down from the top coming towards the apple for temptation okay so it's like you are where you are you are both trying to move the situation between the two of you forward whichever way you're both going about it but the serpents down the middle fears are kind of rising to the surface and you are worrying that they are going to be seeing other people and that apple of temptation is there but you if you think about it logically you are in exactly the same position as them so some of them are just seeing what else is available it doesn't mean that they're going to glue to a relationship if they're already in a relationship it doesn't mean that they're not interested in you they're just trying to get their head together work it all through and your synchronicities are mirroring with that so this is really really promising really really good stuff so yeah they are still interested one two three four i'm so crap with sacred numerals sacred numerals um not sacred numer numerals at all Roman numerals. Um, so you've also got the Eight of Pentacles, so you've got the Seven and the Eight here. Um, this is kind of reminding me of the Scales of Justice, so if your person is with someone else already, it's likely to be karmic, most likely a karmic relationship. Um, some of karmic relationships do work, depending on your soul contracts, but this one, um, if this person is with someone else, that's just come out as a reason for you two breaking up, then the likelihood is it isn't going to last okay so they are still interested in you and what is going on in your energy you've got the knight of swords for them making quick movement towards you and then you go up to the nine of pentacles over here things moving forward and you also have your nine of cups for making a wish and for things coming true so they are still interested there is going to be movement there is going to be sweeping movement coming from um well, it's going to seem like it's coming out of nowhere really but you can see on this card here you've got the two birds at the top with the knight of swords you've got the two birds on here for the lovers making moves towards the lovers it's coming it's shifting um so even if they are interested in someone else it doesn't mean that anything is particularly going on they're just keeping their options open but they are still interested in you predominantly that's a big spirit word predominantly let me get you three of these little clarifying ones i love this deck can you give me three cards for those that put deck number one clarifying cards is their person interested in them still or are they with someone else are they interested in them still Ooh, or is there someone else okay so <laughs> you've got <laughs> i love this as we have this on halloween does it work this is like the shadows being illuminated to them sorry about my nails as well i need to do them but i ripped my nail really hurt. um does it work so the china of shadows working through the limit um working through limitations i've just heard trying to see things from a higher perspective trying to work out what's actually happening ask yourself trust your natural instinct on it if your instinct is telling you one thing um please pay attention to it use your stomach not your head because your head is going to kick in and tell you all sorts of bits and pieces and you've also got talk to say communication is coming through you've got the infinity symbol here again you've got the kind of snake for temptation from that lover's card but it's just fear that is fear that's kind of rising up within you all um 
so try to just let it be an allowance of it let it shift through your body let it flow let it grow no don't let it grow let it flow and let it kind of you can just wherever you feel that kind of fear rising up just try and push it down through your feet with kind of and when it comes out the other end put light energy through it and that'll shift the energy forward for you so it looks pretty promising and um, possibly dating other people but at the end of the day they're still interested in you so it's kind of irrelevant really Right, tech two, ten seventeen. Can you get me into hi tech two into my collection of your deck number two? So if you just tapped in, tuned and turned on, I'm just same as deck number one as always. I'm working on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, so it's going to come up with the strongest mutual energy between you all, as you know how I work. Um, so I'm going to dip into your person's energy, mutual energy. Can you uh, think about your person, please? Can I get into collectives, people, thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Don't block me. Let me see that again. Keep thinking about them. Can I have permission to get into their collective energy? <laughs> We've got two strag stragglers, I heard, which means the energy wouldn't go in. We sorted it out. Okay, can you get me into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? So, can you tell me, please? There's a pit deck number two. Is the person still interested in them or are they with someone else? Good start. Good start. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. Good start. Three. Knight of Swords. That's okay. Are they still interested in them? Sun. Good cards. Or is there someone else? Okay, we're doing all right. Let's get four more. Can I have four more? Are they still interested in them? Or is there someone else? One. Two. two more and then we might get a full house three that's okay and one more i'm nervous for you good cards they are those cards are cracking you good cards okay yeah they are still interested in you and no they're not particularly interested in anyone else so again remember this is the strongest mutual energy between you all all of your individual circumstances will be different but with regard to you and your person, even if you say to me, oh, Ali, they're seeing someone else, again, it's irrelevant to the situation because we're saying, are they interested in you or is it someone else? Well, if the, you know that they are with someone else, then you already know the answer to that question. So if they are still interested in you, the answer is yes. If you don't know they're with someone else, it's because they aren't. Okay, these cards are really, really good. So what you've got, first of all, is the Ace of Cups. So yeah, they are completely still interested in you. They want new beginnings with you. They want romantic energy. Um, they want the cup to be full. They, they're trying to pull the their emotions into this cup. They're trying to balance all their emotions out at the moment. Some of you I'm hearing are not in contact, but whilst that's happening, you've got the Four of Swords here. So they're just having this period of rest and healing because it's all been quite high intensity between the two of you. It's been a little bit up and down. You've had the, you're both being hurting with the three swords to the side but you've got this one sword standing to the side of the heartbreak for these new beginnings wanting new beginnings with you with the ace of cups this is what they want they want these heart-centered emotions if that's my door i'm going to take you with me and um, you're going to see a tour of me flat so um they are feeling a little bit stuck at the moment as you are too you're feeling a little bit as if everything's kind of come up around you and you're not sure which way to be moving and again you've got the three swords at the bottom for heartbreak and you've got the five swords at the top for insert all the kind of uncertainties and feeling like i've been stabbed in the back and you're feeling stuck you're feeling as if you can't move forward and you've kind of got this mask on i'm so sorry guys you've got this mask on that you're trying to hide the tears from but you're, you're both feeling really really sad about the situation <laughs> I take you with me. It might just be the postman. <laughs> okay, nothing yet. I'm going to put you down again and then it will come forward. Sorry, guys. My life when you're recording. It's never easy, is it? So, 
feeling stuck, feeling confused, feeling as if everything's kind of on top of you. You've got the sexual energy kind of behind, um, but you're both wearing this mask because you're both still really, really upset by the situation. However, you have got reconciliation with the Six of Pentacles. You and this person are going to reconcile, and that is going to be happening with movement coming in with the Knight of Swords next to the movement card. They're going to be throwing their roses at you. Movement, things moving forward. <laughs> me uh knight of swords okay so it, there is this movement coming in it's it feels like it's going to feel like nothing is happening um i'm being told to you it's going to feel like nothing is happening and then there is going to be this major shift sorry the guys talking and making me laugh it's going to be this major shift and out of nowhere it's just going to come forward um it feels around the kind of pops stop it <laughs> Feels to be around the kind of two month line for the majority of you. I've just got a timing on that. Sorry, I didn't get a timing for deck number one. But what's happening is you and this person are on the right path. They're not particularly interested in anyone else. You've got the star card, things moving forward. Star card always reminds me of baby Jesus and the kings following the path, moving things forward, going to where they needed to be. Um, and then you have the sun and the ace of pentacles for you and them moving forward together so no they're not interested in anyone else they still want to be with you and it looks like you two are going to get another chance together with reconciliation and things moving forward it's just that you're having this period of rest at the moment and whilst and it's this worry of feeling trapped and feeling like things aren't moving forward those are fears and doubts that are rising up within you but once you shake those fears and once you shake those doubts the situation is definitely shifting forward. And it's not just your fears and doubts, it's their fears and doubts as well. But you have the Ace of Cups and you have the Ace of Pentacles. New romantic beginnings based on stability and love. You know, so it's it's really, really promising. Your cards are really good. There's no cards in here at all to say that there is anyone else that they are interested in. They still love you. Right, let me get three from this pack. Three clarifying cards. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the problem with doing readings, you can't shut it off. And I'm thinking, I'm so far from it, you're just coming and touring me flat, but my door didn't even go, it's just my door. Right, collective for deck number two, can I have three cards? Two more, one. And... Can't even read that. Okay, so you've got alienation, you've got, I can't read this, I think it says Paris phone, but I'm also seeing that as persevere, but there's also, I can definitely see the word phone at the bottom of that, and you've also got magical. So this is saying while you're feeling alone and isolated at the moment, persevere, and that phone is going to be coming towards you, like not throwing the phone at you, but getting in touch with you, making movement towards you. You are feeling isolated at the moment, but it is shifting, there is movement. Remember who you are with magical, remember you can manifest this towards you. You could say manifestation-wise, if you haven't watched manifesting video, it's linked in all the public descriptions. Uh, you could do a quote like, what well, energy, space and consciousness can I be for blah to reach out to me as if by magic and with total ease. Don't put time frame on it, you'll block it. But your cards are really, really good. Don't let fears get in the way. The, majority, the, the issue with deck number two is fears that it's not going to happen and you're not seeing any results of things moving. But there is movement and there is quick movement and there is quick movement coming in once these kind of fears resolve. But for now, it's this period of rest and healing. Just keep focusing on that energy on yourself. The more focus that you put on yourself, the more energy will shift to them and the quicker that this can happen. That is key to all divine relationships is focusing on you for things to move and shift forward. It's the, it's the easiest way to move a situation forward quickly and with ease. And that's deck number two. It's really good cards. Really good cards. Okay, so if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. My turnaround is on 7 to 14 days at the moment. I am inundated, so please just bear with me. You've all been very patient, so thank you ever so much. Um, and thank you for bearing with me how long it's took me to take out a public reading. Um, I'm not sick. I've just been so busy. But I love you all to pieces, and I'll speak to you soon. God bless. Bye.